What's the point of a battle scanner? And you already know, there's a battle going on. We should move to secure the area and minimize further civilian casualties. I don't know. I don't know if anyone knows. I wonder how the other three soldiers got there. Central, this is Big Sky. Confirm signal uplink. Strike team is in position near the terror site. Awaiting confirmation. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one has been given the green light. Your highest priority is to protect those civilians. On my way. Just a little bit of jogging. Like if you put it up here, sometimes it kind of breaks. Sweeping. God, that's so strong. All right. Um, That's affirmative. Let's prop this rocket and put soldiers on the edge of vision. Shotguns. Slightly too many shotguns, I think. No, come back! This is fine. This is a thing that I wanted, I guess. I don't know. Maybe the sniper shouldn't be on Overwatch. Okay, I have successfully spread out a bunch of floaters that I cannot kill. This feels like not the best way to start the mission, but whatever. There's a civilian on my cover tile. Are you serious? Like, <laughs> can you not? Um. <laughs> I couldn't reach it anyway. Fair enough. There's my other emotion tracker. There are civilians on those covered? <laughs> Fuck! need cover too, yeah, I guess so. This might kill some civilians. Oh. <laughs> I mean, if you count the damage to the civilian, it was a pretty high damage rocket, actually. had a 6 HP. Oh, all of them have 6 HP. Okay, fair enough. So one option is we... Dash the gunner into suppression, range, and command. 
that gets the suppression going. I did see a civilian die over here between turns. That makes moving there kind of scary. Can I throw a scanner as my first action? No. The other option is we just kind of let that floater be active and take this shot. I don't love that. It's kind of scary. I guess I'm using command then. Second wave is hidden potential. And that's pretty much it. Alright, that's dead. You know, I could just go there, suppress from smoke. I kind of actually like that. Let's just do that. It'll just shoot at a um civilian probably anyway. Aye, aye. How are you flanked? I can see you. Huh! She's what I know. Don't we have a red fog on too? Nope. Oh. Not a fan of red fog. Hi. I'm glad I didn't run forward into those. Those combat specialists. So those are my chrysalids. Uh, we will want to kill those. The corpses have some value. I don't know where the other floater pot is, yeah. The corpses have some value, but I do kind of like, like the priority is just that those things die. If they don't die, stuff gets really nasty for me. So let's use at least one AP grenade here. Red Fog makes it so that um, units which have taken damage have lowered stats. I don't like it because damage is already kind of the king of the game. Just more important than everything else already. I just saved them. Why aren't they leaving? Please leave. I saved you. Um, so I just... It feels like you take a game where damage is incredibly important and then you just make it even more important when you add red fog. I believe the sniper is meant to be on the front line, right? So. If not, maybe I'm playing the game wrong. <laughs> um, Ooh, nice dodge, nice dodge. Chrysalids are already dead, so... Is that a zombie? I don't think it's a floater. It was a floater. I was wrong. Fair enough. <laughs> 
just looked like it was a zombie and I remembered a civilian dying over there while the um, chrysalids were the closest pod to it, I thought, which I thought would make a zombie, but I mean, clearly, clearly I was not correct. We have some floaters in Fog of War. That's the last pod. So there are no more pods. Those are going to kill some civilians. I'm just going to put this over here so we can understand exactly where they are Scanning. while we're fighting them. They are all on Overwatch. Feels like it's been a while since I put a gunner on the brink of death. Because it's a terror mission, these aren't super scary. They will mostly shoot at civilians. This does increase panic in the country, but it doesn't kill my soldiers. Remember, Faceless and XCOM 2. Oh my god. Imagine how much more fun this would be if some of the civilians randomly turned into units with AoE melee attacks that could kill you. Sure is a pity that that isn't happening. Oh, that's my sniper. <laughs> that's not who I thought that was. Where's my gunner? Where is my... there. Okay. Don't have vision, don't have vision. Uh oh. Any of the old. Nope. Okay, that's kind of scary. Sniper can get one shot here. Just love it when faceless spawn kill me. Probably my favorite thing. Perhaps just hunkering. Six health just isn't enough health. Seven is a lot more than six at this point in the game. Clean up the two floaters remaining, and that's the mission. We saved 9 out of 18. That feels pretty normal-ish. Not good, not bad. We just started working on making a tile-based tactical slash strategy game with some buddies. Any things I think you should avoid or add to these games? that these games are lacking. Uh, cat girls? I'm on the move. Do not watch this channel or you will become a weeb. And this gonna be your answer too. I'm not surprised. <laughs> Cat girls already on the docket? Holy shit. Hope you have your tickets to the game awards. Cool. 
Sniper did what Sniper was meant to do. Shot at floater, floater died. No complaints. Zero wounds? Zero close calls, it felt like. I have failed to drink my water. Nice. Yeah, hackhammer. Yeah, Brotato ended a while ago. Always taking the CCS here. Just every time. Salts are just kind of like CCS on two legs. It's basically their job. We got all of this from the floaters. I blew up one of the crest-led carcasses, but that's like okay. Panic has increased in Brazil and sure, South America sure more generally. Uh uh. Mm. 95 is really high. If it goes up by one, we lose Brazil, right? Or at least we make a roll to lose Brazil. I'm pretty sure 95 is the uh, highest possible value where you don't have to worry about the country leaving. I mean, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit worried. I'm not not worried. If I leave here tomorrow. Oh, fuck. No, they're out of here. Shout. I could stop that by canceling a lot of platings. It's April 13th. Never mind. I could rush a satellite uplink and put a satellite over the country. I think we just lose Brazil, probably. There are ways that panic could come down, and also it's not a 100% chance if it ends the month on 95 that it leaves. But it's a pretty high chance. So I guess we needed to save one more civilian, huh? Damn. I like both of those games, Lex. Damn. Germany wants 12 melds. I don't actually know if you do these ones. Like, you have to be pretty greedy with your meld if you want to make mechs. How many engineers do I have? I must have a lot. I have 23 already. Don't think I meant to do that. It does have to be higher than 95, so I should be fine. Okay. The game was sort of implying that it didn't with the whole flashing lights and Brazil is going to leave. But hey, hopefully hopefully you're right. Is Brazil adjacent to Mexico? It must be. They're going to put their bombing run in Brazil, huh? Yeah, they're going to bomb Brazil and it's going to be higher than 95. Damn. Not much I can do about that. There are theoretically maybe some things I could do about it. That could have been in Brazil, for example. The I've got the coordinates locked in. But there's not a lot that I can do about it. Alright, Melbourne, Australia. This is a roadway abduction. I have zero snipers. We have five hours for a sniper. Let's grab a sniper. My scouts are all out of commission. We've got a bubba flub up and sack of potatoes. Will this be mission number five? Yes. So that'll be our second officer. Um, cool. Waiting how long? Waiting five hours for Asram. 
12 Illyrium for 120. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was to Brazil? That doesn't decrease their panic. It just gives them more defense, which I think affects their role to leave. And it definitely affects how much their panic increases as things happen later. It's not like it's that unusual for the aliens to get a second base. Ahmed's back. Estrap is back. All right. Start this mission. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, we had Sradley, someone who bribed Cole, 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 me Cole, recently. Thanks it was... for waiting for me. Your viewer. I had lots of people bribe me recently. Every day. Broom salesman. Travelling at core 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 wound <gasps> hundred. Thanks for waiting for me, your zero. Has text to speech. <laughs> I'm sure I should know that, but it's always a surprise. Uh, we've definitely done some roadways tonight. I think this is our third roadway tonight. I gotta get my assaults up to Lance Corporal somehow. This was swarming, yeah. Swarming missions kind of want a Rocketeer. But my Rocketeer is wounded for 10 days. And I don't have another heavy. So I am shit out of luck with regards to having Rocketeers for missions. And it's just not a thing that I have this campaign. I could bring the Shiv. I think the roster is doing fine. I don't think that's necessary. I could go double gunner. Not completely ludicrous. Uh, bite me. Thank you for the 32 months supped. I now have alloy platings for my gunners. I don't even think you need an alloy plating. You have 9 health already. Uh, alloy plating goes on salt instead. Get all that health. Delicious, delicious health. Uh, Scout is doing fine here, I think. Gunner, Sniper, Assault, Gunner. Yeah, it's like a pretty good team. Maybe an Engineer to round it out. That means I'm not bringing a Rookie. I think that's fine. I think that's okay. I guess I'll bring the engineer with more experience to try to get to Corporal faster. I think we're just going all high explosive grenades at this point with Sapper. Okay. It's a team of some sort. Alien trophy makes it so you... Here, let me read what it does to you. Oh shit, I have a level up. I almost sent without leveling that soldier up. I'm not sure if it lets you. Okay. One of the engineers fashioned these out of the remains of some alien hardware and hard organs. They serve as a reminder that the aliens are, in fact, mortal and can be beaten. It confers a steadfast perk, preventing panic when you are wounded, when an ally is killed, wounded, or panicking, or when an alien roars loudly to intimidate you. These are, um... You can deliberately take those against berserkers later in the game. Not yet, though. That's you, and I even got your nationality right. That Okay, I'll pretend that was deliberate. Do you choose what a rookie becomes on promotion, or is it random? There are eight possible classes. You get one of four super classes, each of which can choose from two subclasses. Australia has sent a number of requests for assistance. This is one of so the best maps. 
This one's always a good time. Aliens are continuing to target civilians for abduction in several major cities across the globe. We have to get down there and deploy as soon as possible. Doesn't fuck around. <laughs> nice lost. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike team is touching down now. Standing by for your orders. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. This is definitely one of the spawn points on this map. This map is tiny. It is not a large map. There's a fairly open space here, a building over here, like a small building. There's a train and a light railing that basically splits the entire map in half. And then down here is a low ground road. So we're happy to not be on the low ground road. I'm on it, Commander. Yeah, we're happy to not be on the low ground road. There are some enemies on the low ground road. There's some meld on the low ground road. I don't think this is a mission where I'm likely to be getting meld. I think maybe if I had a Rocketeer, I could have some reasonable expectation of finding Meld on this mission, but I'm just... My squad doesn't kill things fast enough. So I'm going to have to... ...play a little bit more defensively, probably. Got some floaties. We have a billion things over there. Found this core NAMU core call call, call Wu 500. What 500 bits there, Nama? Found this core NAMU core call call Wu 500. <laughs> I don't know what it just said, but thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. I am fairly confident I can walk up here. It's definitely saying it twice, twice. It's the 100 bits, that's Rob. Um, yeah, there's something like broken with my Streamlabs alerts. I don't really understand what's going on, but they are delaying their audio. For a really long time and it doesn't happen if I do a test of the alerts it's like only when I'm actually streaming very strange I'm not sure how to use that correctly neither am I so don't worry about it all right we definitely have floaters down there and pop this door I think this might just be sectoids around back here Let's clear them out and then we'll own the high ground and we can finish the mission pretty easily from there probably. Almost every streamer you watch is getting double notifications on Streamlabs with stuff. Huh. It's been going on for a really long time for me. These are, in fact, sectoids. I don't feel like that was the best pull in the world. I have Sapper. I wonder if I move there if I'm pulling enemies. Very hard to say. Okay. I think going here is very unlikely to be. It just doesn't really see the low ground. I might just abandon cover. It's just sectoids, right? Why don't I just shoot them? It 
feels like a super reasonable question. I have double gunner too. Let's suppress both of them while shooting them with things that are likely to be lethal. Use a flashbang. Sectoids are the weakest. Uh, drones are better than sectoids, but sectoids are not strong. Just gonna run that Overwatch with a scout, and I'm not going to run that Overwatch with a scout. Somehow that sectoid can't see me. It cannot see. Alright, I'll just suppress the overwatch. How about that? Now observe. As I throw a sapper grenade. Man, was I planning to use this cover? Maybe. Should I think about that? Nah. nah I'm sure it's fine. There is no longer any cover. This is the difficulty. There is only one difficulty. Iron Man. Impossible. Eventually, we were going to all those. See what they do. Like, two of those didn't do anything. One of them decided to stand right in front of my face. I don't know if that hits anything. I think it's worth drawing. My opinion on games that are titled impossible, that aren't actually impossible, definitely gives some wrong impressions, doesn't it? I just don't know how I can trust anyone anymore. Alright, your job is to shoot flying floaters. Will you do it? No. Absolutely not. Never once in a million years. Going well. Okay. This is why floaters are scary. Because <laughs> sometimes they just kind of don't die. They're very good at dealing damage to you if they're unsuppressed as well. Wait, there are sectoids down there? Wait. Alloy plating already prevented a wound. The sectoids are active. The floater decided to shoot at something that was hunkered that it had a 1% chance to have. I think that might be the flashbanged one. Yeah, it was flashbanged. Okay. Whatever. Um, apparently four sectoids have pulled. I didn't know that until right now. But it seems to be true. I 
I do not have suppression. The sectoids aren't particularly threatening. The floaters should be killable, but like that's what I thought last turn too, so... Who really knows? Getting a shot this time. Be good. You're 0 for 3. You're really hoping I could hit both of those with the same flashbang? I can't. Let's do that. Potatoes, boiling, mashing. Good. Let's kill half the pod. I think they might decide to run away. Trying to fall back. They're either trying to fall back for real or they call the play to try to kill one of my soldiers. So the aliens will call plays sometimes and in vanilla, the only play that they can call is run away. So Bradford's audio says that they're going to run away when they do that. But in long war, there are some other plays that they can call, including trying to kill your soldier, which is what we just saw. Um, they decided to try to kill bite me and both shot at bite me. And Biting Me is now at 1 HP. Alloy plates. They're what's for breakfast. Uh, speaking of alloy plates, you have an alloy plate. You need to reload, but maybe using the motion tracker is even more important. It looks as though I might be able to take this tile. It's someone with an ally plate. Yeah, we're good. You're dead. I guess I could suppress still. It's just my soldier has a 1 HP. Makes it kind of scary. Please. <laughs> Please, sir. to do about that. I got a 56 to kill or I have a smoke grenade. They can't kill me. I have too much health. One of my soldiers is already flanked. It might be able to kill me. Let's see how good alloy platings are. Good shit!
Could have been polite of them to miss their shots as well. Just seems kind of like considerate based on how things are going for me. Have been going for me. Uh okay. Well, I would like to finish killing these. I'd like to use another motion tracker. Kinda of don't have any bullets left. Thing that I have noticed. Oh good, now I have vision of the sectoids. That's probably what I wanted. I'll get him next time. <sighs> Jeez. Louise. There are footsteps to my left. Unless my headphones are on backwards. Let me check. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, there are footsteps to my left. Alloy plating will probably be damaged, but I can repair it. It was definitely not good to have that soldier die, but it's, I mean, there is an expectation that soldiers will die in the course of a long war campaign. I don't actually like putting you there at all. I've changed my mind. Seems kind of unnecessary. <laughs> Probably a pot of sectoids that's gotten onto the high ground and is to my left. That's what it sounds like to me. 100% mind fray. Got a panic. No chain panic. I could really use a motion tracker. All right, they're up there. So we're good to engage here. One sectoid's already dead. High ground, I have a shotgun. <laughs> oh. a pretty good mission. like a tile here where I can actually see them. Yeah. I don't know why I thought I might hit that shot. There are worse missions to miss a 380% plus hits in a row. Ah, uh, probably true. Percentages are not lies. Sometimes you just get unlucky lots of times in a row. Just how life works. Hello. Got my eyes off. Got it covered. 
Uh, on this difficulty, the percentages are just correct. So for some reason, I see where they are. I don't entirely know why. I have six soldiers. Um, some of them even have health left. actually don't know how to do that. Just a second, just a second. I might have to time you out for a sec. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to mod my own channel. I'm gonna time you out for a second. It says unable to time out user. Apparently I'm not a moderator of my channel, sorry. I don't fucking know. Twitch is like fucking breaking. <laughs> it's not my fault, I swear. Honestly, I don't actually have a guaranteed kill on these. Almost have a guaranteed kill on them. It's not a... Let's not harass too much. Can grenade throws be fumbled? Only if you click on the wrong place. Another successful operation. To avoid that, I take my hand off the mouse and then press the space bar to actually throw a grenade. Um, sack of potatoes, upgraded to corporal, Asrab upgraded to corporal, dead assault, we don't have to talk about that, I damaged Remember, both of my alloy plates, like, it's probably better to have them and damage them than to not have them and have my soldiers die, right? Admittedly, I just had the soldiers die as well, but, um, you know, that's all cool, we'll build a repair bay. This is going to finish, then we excavate, excavate, put a workshop there. Actually, maybe I put a workshop here. Pretty sure I want a workshop. And I could put fission generators down here and just build over the top of that steam. That seems better to me. Stockpile some stuff. Workshop requires four power. So this has to finish, then I have to clear that, then I have to build a fission generator here, then I can build a workshop. That's a lot of stuff. Maybe it's fine. Probably completes around the right time. What's that fission generator take? 10 days? 5, 10, 20. It's April 15th right now. I could start building things on the 5th of May. 
Yeah, that's probably about right, actually. Get to build a couple of scopes. Maybe I'm not meant to take an alien weaponry, actually. I'm wondering. What if I built a lab? No. No way, that's gotta be too much. I don't know though, my economy is kind of okay. Anyway, there's nothing to do right now, I don't think. Alien weaponry is complete. Although, the alien weapon fragments provide a limited glimpse into the systems utilized in their equipment, we've seen enough to confirm my worst suspicions about their technology, that it is vastly superior to our own. However, I have been encouraged by the rapid developments the research team has made in studying the damaged circuitry and electronics we've recovered. Our initial efforts have already yielded a successful outcome. The new integrated sighting module created for our weaponry was heavily influenced by the alien's own targeting system. Uh, it is time to research alien computers and xenogenetics. I'm going to go alien computers first. The reason for that is the council requests for flight computers are some of the best council requests in the game. They just give you very, very, very good stuff. So let's unlock those as quickly as we can. I'm going to build a marksman scope, one of the most important items in the game. And I'm going to build two scopes, and hopefully we can actually afford to do that. I, I think it might be okay. We'll find out. We'll find out when we find out. At some point I need another motion tracker. I might just build one now. That way if one gets damaged, we'll be able to have a third backup. One engineer for 12 weapon fragments. Kind of got to take those. I don't actually have that many scientists, it feels like. Request from Argentina is a satellite. Don't care. signal almost like it's scanning for something this is the hunt mission of the month this is an alien fighter um fighters scale up pretty well over the course of the game but at this point in the game they're not too bad i think we assigned our zero kill stingrays on aggressive this is trying to shoot down my satellite, which means I have tons of time to shoot it at. It's not trying to, like, show up and then run away. Okay, I would have liked to hit it a few times. What I'm trying to say is, like, I should be able to get all three of the interceptors to it. Usually, that's enough to shoot it down. I'm just going to reset since we... Both missed. Contact detected. Bangs out. Um, okay, so probably uh, Freebird actually just gets their sixth kill. Like probably. Engaging bogey. I should have sent them balanced, I think, with five kills already. Wow. Well, we got the crash landing. I also pretty much lost three planes for the next very long time. Um, This is why we have two hangars. There are two more missions. Can I get 200 bucks? I could cancel a scope. I want to be a billionaire so fucking bad. Ward Square, thank you for the bribe. Uh, yeah, you can have a soldier. Let's sell the power source. 
I can be stockpiling a power source right now. So we'll be back to three and three in three days. In the meanwhile, um, fighters are some of the easiest missions in the entire game. This is a chance to send some rookies. So I'm just looking for soldiers who I desperately want experience on and rookies, basically. I don't need to send a sack of potatoes, but it's nice that sack of potatoes exists because I'll be an officer for next mission. We just need one more mission before Bubba Flub becomes an officer. So I might wait 13 hours then. Let's wait 13 hours for Bubba Flub. Yes, this is a really good, that's a really good council request. I might add 19. Okay. Mission tracker is done. Fuck. Fuck. That's unlucky. I mean, it happens. I'm going to send this. I could get lucky. It would require a lot of luck, but I have been that lucky at other times in the air game. Um, ideally, we want to deal 50% of this thing's health so it won't send a UFO to shoot down my satellite. I think I was 0.1 seconds away from having it. Uh, that's too bad. All right, so we're not getting this one. Looks like there's only one UFO left. I'm in this really awkward situation where I can't kill it on either hangar. Okay, I can kill it on this hangar, but I can't kill it on this hangar. Is it just going to go to France? Do they just all go to France because I didn't have a satellite active in North America at the start of the month? Is that how it works? I wonder. All of the other ones have gone to France. I may have kind of goofed on the air game here. It's not the end of the world. I got a raider shot down early. I got the fighter shot down. Like, it's been an okay month for the air game. I think it could go to America. Well, it hasn't so far. I guess I had one over Germany, so yeah. Yeah, definitely could. I damaged it enough that it will not spawn a hunt. There's no way. You know, I wonder if it would be impossible to beat this your first playthrough, not looking things up. That might be impossible. I would not be able to win my first playthrough without looking things up. Long War 1, I don't think. You don't know how people are supposed to navigate the air game without my guide. Guess how I navigated the air game? <laughs> spreadsheets. <laughs> lots and lots and lots of spreadsheets. So I was still waiting for Bubba Flub. It was another six hours away. You just get to watch this one fly around and then leave. It was bad. All right, Bubba Flub has returned to active duty. Missing one UFO so far out of out of um, seven. It's not really bad at all for a France start. That is extremely acceptable. I did destroy one, so I've gotten five crashes out of seven with one destroyed and one escaped. All right, urban block. There's only one map this could be. Apparently everyday broom salesman needed four more experience the level. Oops. Let's bring Bubba Flub, Gunner, Scout. I want experience on the Sniper, and then like probably two rookies and two low level soldiers. Uh, who just bribed me? There was a bribe, I remember. was.
Ford Square. Thank you, Ward Square. I appreciate it. Shuttlesworth, room of salesman, blah, blah, blah. I have enough infantry that it feels like I should be bringing infantry every mission. Because not only do I have a lot of infantry, but also I'm going to want to build equipment that's good on infantry. It means I'm going to want to level up my infantry. I don't know. That's my thinking. Perhaps more relevant is I need to get more assaults to Lance Corporal, so let's do that. Um, Ernamu. Thank you for the bribe. And then I think I want two more rookies leveled. Does that end up being seven? It does. Assault, scout, going short range scout, double assault. I think we go for shooty scout. Did I finish my marksman scope? Not yet. Oh, flashbangs, okay. Starting to get kind of tired. Play another mission or two, though. Semitics don't really work in Long War. Um, I mean, I am not currently building medics in the strategy that I have. Hello, nuclear wasted. Strike one. Prepare for landing. The big problem with medics is that engineers are so good. I think. Our target site is near the German border. Our target touched down inside a major urban center, and there's a risk of further civilian casualties if we don't secure the area on the double. On the double? Close range? Operation Unceasing, Kang. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike one Somehow it became 1 a.m., which is very is XCOM. Oh shit. There's Meld. So this is a ruined city. I believe the implication is that when the UFO crash landed, it blew up all of these buildings. UFO's right there. Um, I think in base game you start over here. Target confirmed. On our way. Then along more, you can spawn in a variety of places. Crash landed fighter. I would not be surprised if there were five enemies total on this map. Um, yeah, these are not super heavily. Moving. Alien object in sight. Stacked up missions. I heard Thin Man. I see something on the motion tracker. Moving to position. Most likely that is simply the Thin Man. Home streams are very chill and relaxing. I'm glad you think so. <laughs> there have been some stressful moments for me today. I've heard sectoids and floaters and thin men. There's also another um, meld canister over there. This is maybe a bit more exciting than I was expecting it to be. Heading to that location. Solid copy. I'm using the way that line of sight is broken up by terrain here to move forward. I have to be really careful about this. <laughs> okay, that's a clip. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Poor 
Unfortunately, it's three sacrifices. Nobody cares. The days one triple sectoid was a threatening fodder, kind of gone. I do want to kill them quickly though, which is pretty hard, unfortunately. Oh, I was hoping for a. Overwatch shot against that. Other things with 22 mods. Looks like it's gonna be at least seven enemies. Suppose I have Sapper on the team. Suppose I have a motion tracker near them. Looks like I only brought one motion tracker. That is a mistake. Heading to that location. All right, it is time to run and gun. I don't have close combat specialist, but this should be a fine. There's minimal risk, and it's worth it for the meld canister. This is actually controlled now with a, an AP grenade there. Squad's a little bit spread out. Is it a third malt canister? What do I hear? I get vision of one while I was running and gunning, maybe? Okay. Soldier has a 9 HP. That moves pretty safe. Time to motor. Let's do this. Roger that. What? Jake has retired, so will not be fixing his game. David thinks the raid. Shit. If there was another milk canister over here, I'm guessing that I do not get it. We're playing some Long War 1. It's been a while. Been a long while. Finish a Long War 1 campaign, play a Long War 2 campaign. The nice thing is, like, in theory, I could have that done by tomorrow. Slayer. I am hearing and man. I'm 
getting pings to meld with no vision. Heading there now. This is cool. Position confirmed. I think I just let it go. Aye, aye, Commander. It's nine meld, which is definitely not insignificant, but it's not enough to be I worth the soldier death at the moment. Moving to position. And this team cannot quite Be dash on. into fog of war against thin men. One more two load times are ridiculous. They're pretty slow, yeah. I think that was actually a thin man ping and not a ping to the outsider. And Long War 2 patch do I like the most? Oh, I, I don't remember the difference. Will do. Will go. Yes, I copy. So remember the first mission we got an intact power source? in the crashed UFO. I've not gotten a single intact power source since then. Just goes to show how incredibly lucky our march was. Well, that's definitely a thing the outsider. And this is my pod of two thin men and a sectoid it looks like. And they pulled backwards, I don't like that. Have double have double assault. One gunner. Gunner is here. Moving to position. Target acquired. Cool. That's more or less what I was hoping for. Seventy-seven percent just isn't what it used to be. <laughs> Strong march is the key to a good band. Moving to position. Like of musicians or. Didn't know you knew about bands. Moving. I don't think I've heard any enemies other than the enemies I heard in this pod, so that's probably it. That's affirmative. I'm gonna hunker here. This is the easiest soldier for them to see. I want to oh. present them a target that they can't actually hit with attacks. If they acid spit, that's that? fine. That's what they did. Humor has not improved. Not yet. Oh, oh what? Maybe it's late game fighters that don't have any enemies on them. <laughs> this this feels like a lot of enemies. Um We have to fight this with acid on our soldiers and no gunner. With men there, there, there. I don't have close combat specialist. Close combat specialist would be nice. Going in for the kill. On the move. Four of my soldiers are currently. Disabled by acid. So, that's pretty bad. And come here and flank these tiles so I can't really go there. I go there. I go through the acid. Looks like it avoids it all.
kind of got to dash out of the asset here or else we get flanked. Really have a choice. Failed the panic check. Nice. Roger that. Ten four. So I don't have a gunner next turn either. I think I want to like risk this. Yeah, it's a panic check, but I need to have this assault in range to run and gun next turn. And you can just go hide. Hey! Relatively good panic rolls. Is that a dash? Uh, it chose to run away, it looks like. More acid. <laughs> okay, you gotta chill out. <laughs> Gotta chill out. These are all the rolls to see if acid runs out on my soldiers. Looks like no, no, no. Basically, no. There are three thin men active. Holy shit, how do I kill that? That's a bit... Scary. Don't think I'm into leaving that alive. I might need a panic roll on my assault. That might just be where we're at. Fear and panic. Think the soldiers wore helmets? Yeah, it could help. Medkits actually make you immune to acid. So, if I wanted to not have to deal with acid, that would be the thing to do. here. Next turn we have a flank. I think I'll just overwatch to try to pen it. This is still acid. This is still acid. Can any of my soldiers move? You can move. Move here and take a flanking shot, but if we miss, we have no backup really. You're still acid. You're still acid. You can move. You're still acid. You can move. Assault can move. Assault kind of doesn't have any health left. I think this tile's invisible to that thin man though. I don't necessarily want to take this shot though. I want to try to hit this shot first. I wonder if that breaks line of sight. I'll just go back. It's a marksman's rifle, so I don't have to be close. Are you serious? <laughs> Well, it's just this one. It's a little bit scary, sure, but I mean, there should be some way to survive this. It feels like very few of my soldiers are actually at risk. Maybe I just run backwards. What if I walked back into heavy cover and overwatched? I could get crit. I could get crit. Let's walk here and hunker. Hunker, hunker, hunker. 
bunker. What you got for me? An overwatch. Uh, I think I already have a flanking shot on that without even moving anybody. Oh, gotta walk up. But I mean, eventually I do. Wait, that's not a flank? Oh, it has cover. What a neat trick. These soldiers can actually move? Seems like it must be illegal. You can't move. How about my assault here? Still acid. Um, shout. Not quite as good as I was hoping it would be. I could move up just to barely into range. Get the suppression going. Move here and take a marksman shot at it. It's kind of, kind of goofy. How many grenades do I have? Not really many. I could suppress it from smoke instead of suppressing it from cover. Suppressing from smoke is okay. Oh, this probably has vision. I think this has vision. Um, I should probably clear the overwatch though if I'm gonna do that. How do I clear the overwatch? I don't. I don't. I can run here and flank me. So I use my scout. Is like kind of what scouts are for. I don't really want to rely on this. I don't really want that to hit me one time in 50, but. I can move here. That should have suppression. It doesn't. <laughs> An interesting mission. Maybe this will just kill it. <laughs> Oh my god, what a mission. Alright, cool. End result, zero wounds, I think. So, I mean, we take a two out of three melt cans. Everything by the numbers and not a scratch on them. Hopefully every operation goes this well. That map often has a bit of a mess. I don't feel like it's that dangerous a map, but I do feel like regularly, like, everything <laughs> turns into a clusterfuck on that map. Lots of blind corners, but also lots of open sight lines to pull extra pods while you're navigating the blind corners. About 110 meld. I think I want like 300 or something. You do get quite a lot. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. Okay. Big problem right now is the hangers. But I've done what I can do. Commander, the council is requesting your attention. Secure transmission coming in now. This is our council mission. A sources report. A developing incident in Newfoundland. Up the coast from St. John's. A fishing village has gone dark! Reports from intel sources suggest alien involvement. We should send in a team to investigate the site and figure out what happened. Holy shit. Holy shit, it's site recon. Excellent. We look forward to seeing your progress. Uh, okay. Upside, inside, out. I once hired someone to make a polka cover of Living La Vida Loca for me <laughs> to, to play over highlights of this mission. Gosh, I have lived a strange life. Hold on.
don't know if I have the link anymore. Ah, oh, there it is. It even says for Steven in the title. Oh. <laughs> I, I actually in real life commissioned someone to make that. <laughs> what a life it's been. Um, alright, so... The actual dangerous part of this map is generally the Thin Man pod. There's one Thin Man pod, there's a bunch of chrysalids. Um, and then there's a part where you shoot everything that spawns from a whale for a really long time, which is not difficult at all. It's kind of free. Um, but yeah. In order to deal with a thin man pod, I think what I'll do is wait four hours and send Liren up. And we'll have battle scanners on the mission. That'll be nice, right? That will be nice. Whatever I paid for that cover, it was worth it. I agree. 100%. 100% agree. We are confident that you will handle this matter with discretion. Any gunners? <laughs> this is just kind of how it goes. Uh, I do want a gunner. Is this the first time a gunner's made it to Corporal? I think it is. I've been beating my gunners up pretty bad this campaign. So our options are heat ammo, which works fine. Uh, yeah, it works quite well. Opportunist, which makes our reaction shots better, and shredder ammo. Um, so shredder ammo and heat ammo mostly do things if I shoot at an enemy right now. I'm not making a laser cannon for my gunners, so I'm a little bit less likely to be using them to shoot, but like it may happen. But I do need some soldiers which can kill a cyber disc, so having it so my gunner can do that is nice. I'll probably take heat ammo here. Um, the real thing that they do that's exciting though is late game you get danger zone, which increases the area of effect of suppression, so you can suppress multiple things at the same time and Mayhem, which deals damage when suppressing. So once you get to Master Sergeant, what you're doing is you're laying down area of effect suppression, and you're applying holo targeting to everything, and you're also applying shred to everything if you took shredder ammo. Or if you took heat ammo, you're actually dealing a very large amount of damage to robots, because that two damage will proc the heat ammo, which deals 50% of the base damage of your primary weapon. So this becomes like a button that can blow up a drone pod instantly, blow up a seeker pod instantly, stuff like that. Um, I do think that shredder ammo is a little bit more useful late game, but I think heat ammo is better right now. So I'm gonna take heat ammo. It's weird, on this particular mission, shredder is better than heat, but whatever. I don't think there are any robots on this mission, but that's okay. So what? Uh, Lyranet's here to throw some battle scanners. This will be mission number nine. We're closing in on the next level of officer for Lyranet already. And I think we have a marksman scope? We don't? How far out are they? We've gotta be really close. Eh, they're kinda close. Excellent. We look forward to seeing your progress. Yeah, heat ammo. 
gunners get to the point where they shoot twice in a turn, so Hinemo is nice for blowing up mechs. I don't think it will be that big a deal with my own mechs, though. Uh, mechs tend to have guns that deal a lot of damage and are very good at shooting twice in a turn, so... Yeah, but whatever. I'm gonna take Asrab on the mission as well. Idea here is we want some help killing the Thin Men. The Thin Men are likely to be on low ground compared to us and likely to be a long way away. That's the most threatening way they can be, basically. And so a sniper helps a lot to kill that. We're taking Disabling Shot at Corporal. We're largely taking Disabling Shot all the time, every time on snipers. Disabling Shot uh, unloads the enemy's weapon, which means this Int stick kills an enemy for one turn if you hit with it, kind of. Uh, and that's a really good thing to be able to do. It is good to be able to, like, deal with one of the enemies, like the strongest enemy in the pod, until next turn. And then you can position soldiers to be ready to kill at the next turn while dealing with the small enemies in the pod while it isn't a threat. Labeling shots, very good against cyber discs, very good against mechtoids. Um, and those are kind of the big scary things that we're going to be fighting in the next four months or whatever. And then later on in the game, it's just pretty good still. It's just ubiquitously good. Gunner, Scout, Sniper. We want some assaults. I am going to take... Lurian, because Lurian has more aim. I want an engineer, probably. This is a new soldier. Should we name our soldier after? Let's go with Vadra. Who subbed for 22 months. Take another sapper. Is this mod? It is. It's Long War 1.0. Uh, um, I wouldn't hate an infantry just to do some shooting. I wouldn't mind just bringing scouts, just because I want experience on the scouts. I kind of like that actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 11. Definitely use a rookie promotion. I don't know if you really want to mess around with rookies on this map, though. There are an awful lot of chrysalids. I'm gonna try one rookie. I have double close combat specialist. No, I have one close. Okay, let's let's take another close combat specialist, and that should make it all right to bring a rookie at that point. Uh, I like having a Rocketeer on this map because uh, Shredder is good against Chrysalids and Rocketeer, like the regular Rockets, are pretty good against the Thin Men pod, potentially. Kind of want one person who's quick, right? Anybody here have decent mobility? It looks like it's Vadra's job, so I'm gonna go attack fest on Vadra for more mobility. All right, and that's gonna be the plan. Let's do Newfoundland. I think um, this has to be an AP grenade. And this has to be an AP grenade. I just need to be able to kill the chrysalid pods. I'm a little bit scared about it still. You're looking for a challenging game to consume you. Long War is a challenging game that will consume you. Strike one. It's very esoteric, which is where most of the difficulty lies. 
Also, boy, true, I don't know.